Hi. Today I will show you how to create easy 3D shapes, using Illustrator. Let's start. First, you will need to open the window dedicated to 3D editing. In case you don't have this window, you can find it by going to Window, then to 3D and Materials. Well, now I show you how to make all these figures. To make the first, you will have to delete half of the shape, to do this I use the direct selection tool. I selected the two side points and deleted them. Then I selected the figure, right click, join. Now you can create its 3D shape. In this case, we will use the revolve tool. This tool creates the 3D figure based on a segment, which is why we needed half of the 2D figure. Illustrator has a good gallery of materials to apply to your 3D models. I recommend you try them all. Next shape. In this case, we will use the inflate option to create the 3D shape. As you can see, only one part has become 3D. While the back is still flat, if you want the effect to be applied to both the front and the back of the figure, just select the inflate both sides checkbox. As you can see, an ugly line is created in the middle, to remove it, just set depth to 0px. You can edit the volume option to decide how round your 3D shape should be. If you are wondering how to move the figure freely, just press the white circle in the center of the axes. For this shape, instead, I will use the extrude option. This option is quite easy to understand, among all it is the easiest to use. Well, I showed you how to use the three options that turn 2D figures into 3D figures. Now I'll show you some useful extras. To turn the triangle into a cone, you will need to get the half. There are various methods. I prefer to create a rectangle. Place it in the middle of the triangle, select both, and use the shape builder tool. By pressing the alt key and clicking on the half I want with the rectangle, the piece will be deleted, so the half of the triangle is obtained. Now, as in the first case, I can use the revolve option and get my 3D figure. Using the options extrude and revolve you will get two different effects, as in my case, the first result is quite predictable. While using revolve on this shape, you can get much more interesting figures. The last option I want to show you is the possibility to edit the perspective. With this function you can, easily change the perspective of your 3D objects. You can also use these functions with a text. Just create a text and select one of the options I showed you. The text will not be converted to form, so you can edit it very easily. I hope this video was helpful and you understand how to take advantage of the Illustrator 3D options. But there are so many other features, that I will show you in the next videos. Subscribe and activate the bell to keep you updated.